Let's open our Bibles again to Matthew chapter 7. 我们再回到圣经的马太福音第七章 Read verses 13 and 14. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction, and there are many who enter through it. For the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life, and there are few who find it. He begins by saying, enter through the narrow gate. And we discussed that in the last sermon. That the narrow gate is the person of Jesus Christ. That he is the one who made sacrifice for our sins. And there is no salvation apart from him. Absolutely none. It is only through Christ. And that in itself is the scandal of Christianity. Because of this, we are called an exclusive religion. Because we say that all those outside of Christ are excluded from God's salvation. Now, before someone attacks us on this matter, you must realize that most religions say the same thing. To the Muslim and the Jew, we are wrong. And we are outside of salvation according to them. The Buddhist and the Hindu. If they would be true to their teaching, say the same thing. And the atheist himself would say that we have a completely wrong view of everything. So everyone has to make their stand. The Christian chooses to make his stand upon the person of Christ. Now he says, enter through the narrow gate. And then he says, for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction. The idea here is this. There are almost an infinite number of saviors out there. And they say that they are the gate. And they make a broad gate. All of them put together. And most people are going through those gates. But Jesus says that it leads to death. But not only is there a wide gate, there is also a broad way. And most are walking on it. Now, there's something very important about this broad way. It is undefined. It's basically walking any way you want to. Being subject only to your own heart. This is a very frightening statement. Because it describes most people who call themselves Christians. They say that they have passed through the narrow gate. They say that they are believing in Jesus. But they walk in the broad way. 
They do not walk according to the specific commands of Christ. They do not walk as someone following Christ. They do what is right in their own eyes. Now I want you to look at your own life. Especially young people, listen to me. Do you consciously seek to walk according to the commandments of Christ? Are you thinking about His will? What He desires for you in specific situations? Most would have to admit no, they're not. 大多数人必须要... They, they say they believe in Jesus. But walk just like everybody else. Imitating everyone else. With almost no thought of the will of Christ. That's very dangerous. Because he says this about the wide way. It leads to destruction. You see, this passage is found in the Sermon on the Mount. And the Sermon on the Mount is extremely important for Christianity. As a matter of fact, if you look in chapter 5, and in verse 1, it says, When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, he opened his mouth and began to teach them. Now why the word mountain? Honestly, Matthew could have used the word hill. But he uses the word mountain. Why? He's trying to demonstrate something extremely important to us. There are two mountains in Scripture. We have Mount Sinai, don't we? Where the law was given to Moses. This was the center of the Jewish religion. God gave the law to Moses. And that law was to govern the people. But now Matthew is telling us something else. God has come down on the mountain. In the person of Jesus Christ. And he opens up his mouth. And he begins to teach us. Saying, it demonstrates the importance of what's being said. So we work our way through the Sermon on the Mount. And we see the great authority of Christ. And the great things that he's teaching us about Christianity. What it means to follow him. But then he comes to the last part of the Sermon on the Mount. He's in chapter 7. And it seems like everything begins to change. Because he begins to teach the people with great warnings. And what he's basically doing is this. He's saying, I'm not just some teacher who's giving you a few principles why, why, through which you can make your life better. What I am teaching you has to do with life and death. Heaven and hell, 是天堂地狱的问题, salvation, 是有关救恩的, destruction, 灭亡的问题, this is not something to take lightly. Your entire life depends upon your response to his word. 你, Sometimes people say to me, 有时候人对我说, Why are you all always so serious about this? It is a serious 
thing. I am not called to be a Christian comedian. I am called to warn you. The Christian message is full of promise. It's full of blessing. It's full of warning. It's full of warning. Here it is. What will you do with it? He comes to us and he says, Look, there's, there's two different types of gates here. There's the narrow gate. That's me. And there's the broad gate. That's everyone else. Choose you this day. Where will you pass? And then he goes on from the gate. He says, you go through that broad gate. You'll, you'll be on the broad way. Everyone else is going that way. Your culture is going that way. Your friends are going that way. Media is going that way. Government is going that way. Education, academics are all going that way. If you go that way, you will be with them. You will receive their approval. They will like you. And with them, you will be destroyed. Then he goes on. He says, The way is broad. It leads to destruction. And there are many who enter through it. Look at this. Many. Most will enter through it. And we see that, don't we? I mean, look at the world. If you look at Canada or the United States of America, would you say the great majority of the people are worshiping Christ? Would you say that our academic circles exist for the glory of Christ? Absolutely the opposite. Would you say our government seeks to submit to Christ? The music that fills the airways, is it about Christ? Walk down the street. Do you see people serving Christ? No. That's why in one sense the kingdom is a secret or hidden kingdom. Now let's go on. And then he says, For the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life and there are few who find it. The gate is small. I've said this, I'll say it again. Christ is the way. The truth. And the life. And apart from him, there's nothing. You see, this is why it's so important that we preach Christ. We ought to be a joyful people. The news we have is good news. But it is so important that it requires not only our attention, but that we share it with a seriousness. If Jesus Christ is telling the truth, the great majority of this world will be condemned. That's serious. 
There are so many things going on in this world that are very serious. 世界上有很多事情都是很严肃的。But none of them are more serious than the eternal damnation of a man. 但是没有比人的永恒的灭亡更严肃了。Nothing is more important to you than to discern what will happen to your soul. 对你来说，也没有比你的灵魂的永恒的归宿更严肃的事了。You see, that's one of the things that this world does to you. 这是世界干的一件事儿，其中之一。It gets your mind so filled, so bombarded with with things that don't matter. 这世界上让让你。你头脑里是充满那些鸡毛蒜皮、那些微不足道的小事情。Most people are consumed with self. 大多数人都以自我为中心，成天想的都是我、我、我、我、我。With money. 金钱。With success. 成功。Entertainment. 娱乐。Sensual desires. 那些性的、性的这些这些满足。Video games. 还有玩游戏。All the while, the world is marching toward destruction. 同时，这整个世界都走向沉沦灭亡。This is what Jesus says. 这是耶稣说的。For the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life. 那门是窄的，路是小的，引到永生呐、啊。Now let's make a relationship between the small gate and the narrow way. 好，我们来看看这个窄门跟小小路有什么关系。Many of you may say, "I've passed through the narrow gate." 很多人可能说，我已经从窄门经过了。I believe in Jesus. 我相信耶稣啦。I have passed through the narrow gate. 我已经过关了。Well, let me ask you this question. 让我问一个问题。Are you walking in the narrow way? 你是否正在走小路呢 ？See, they don't say that anymore in contemporary Christianity, do they? 在今天基督教不说这个话。If I were to rewrite the gospel based on what I hear preached in most churches, 如果我根据大多数教会所传讲的来重新写福音的话 ，it would sound like this. 呃，会会会写成这个样子。Pass through the narrow gate. 你要从窄门经过 ，and then walk any way you choose. 然后你可以行你所选择的道路，为所欲为。Take the broad path. Walk with everyone else. 跟大家同流合污吧。Do what is right in your own eyes. 你可以为所欲为，做什么都行。That is not what Jesus says. 但这不是耶稣的教导。The evidence that you have truly passed through the narrow gate. 你真正从窄门经过的证明乃是 is that you are seeking to walk in the narrow way. 你正在寻求走小路。The way that is marked out by the commandments of Christ. 是神的。话语所定义的窄路。Do you see that? 你看到吗 ？Now again, I'm not saying that those who have truly believed will do all of this perfectly. 我我的意思，你不要误会啊，不是说呃那些真正信主的人会十全十美，百分之百万无一失。不 ，The strongest Christian will stumble and fall. 最强壮的基督徒也可能扑倒、走偏。But the direction of his life. 但是他生命的大方向。Will be determined by the commandments of Christ. 是因着基督的诫命而界定的。I so wish that God would take the blinders off of people. 我希望神把人的那个眼睛上蒙的油给挪开。I wish He take the blinders off of the preachers. 但愿神把那个传道人眼睛上的那个帕子给挪开。We have these churches where everybody is supposedly believing in Jesus. 我们有这些教会啊。好像每个人都好像信耶稣一样。And everyone is worshiping Jesus because the music is so good. 大家都在敬拜耶稣，因为那个音乐这么美妙。Then walk out of the building and forget about Jesus. 一旦他们从教堂里头出去，就把耶稣忘得一干二净。And then walk any way they choose. 然后他们为所欲为，偏行己路。This is a direct contradiction of Scripture. 这是跟圣经背道而驰的。The evidence that you believe, 你真正相信的明证 is that you're walking in a new direction. 是你现在走一个新的方向 You're no longer going with the crowd. 你不再与众人同流合污了 You're going against it. 你乃是逆流而上 That's why Jesus said, "Be very afraid if everyone speaks well of thee." 是耶稣说，如果大家都说你好的时候，你要小心哦 When a religious figure dies, 当一个宗教领袖死了 
And everybody in the world talks about how great they were. 全世界都在夸奖他，他是多么美好。There's a problem. 问题就大了。Now listen to what it says. 好，我们看看圣经说什么。It、says the narrow way leads to life. 那引到永生的那门是窄的，路是小的。Life. 那引到永生呐、啊、，real。Life, 真正的生命 ，abundant life， 丰富的生命 ，eternal life， 永恒的生命。Now there's something about eternal life you need to understand. 你需要了解永生啊。Although it is dealing with a a quantity of life， 虽然这也讲的是生命的量量。Unending life， 没有结没有结束没有限度的生命限量。That is not the main idea of eternal life. 这不是永生的最主要的含义。Eternal life is a quality of life. 永生最主要讲到是生命的值。And in John 17, Jesus tells us what that is. 约翰福音第十七章，耶稣告诉我们的永生的意义，值是什么 ？That we would know God. 我们认识神。And His Son. 和他的儿子。That is eternal life. 这就是永生。That we would enter in to an intimate fellowship. With God through His Son, we through His Son will enter into a close, intimate, relationship with God. And that is one of the reasons why eternal life begins at conversion. So, eternal life is at conversion. So, eternal life begins 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 And as you walk with him over the years, 当你以后与神同行一年又一年 ，that relationship deepens. 那个关系会越来越亲密深刻。You grow in your relationship with him. 你跟他的关系会越来越成长。It leads to life. 会带领你进入生命。Life that is independent of circumstances. 那个生命是与环境无关的，不受环境摆布的。When I disciple my children, 当我训练我的儿女的时候 ，when we talk about things such as life， 当我们讲到呃像生命的问题 ，I tell them over and over， 我一次又一次的告诉他们 ，life， 生命 ，is knowing God， 是认识神 ，life is following His commands， 是遵循他的话语。Life has nothing to do with circumstance. 生命不是受环境影响的。Life has nothing to do with material things. 生命不是物质的丰富而已。Life has to do with relationship. 生命乃是与神的关系。The relationship I have with God. 我与神的关系。The relationship I have with my wife. 我跟我妻子的关系。The relationship I have with my children. 我跟我儿女的关系。The relationship I have with my brothers and sisters in Christ. 我跟弟兄姊妹基督里弟兄姊妹的关系。The relationship I have with other human beings. 我跟其他人类的关系。It has nothing to do with most of the things you're chasing after. 生命跟你你所追寻的大多数的东西都没有关系的。Most people, 大多数人 will be hindered in their relationship with God. 他们与神的关系会受到拦阻 because of their work. 因为他们的工作太忙了 and they're working. 他们工作 for things. 为了得到东西 they won't have time for their wife. 他们就没时间跟太太花时间了 because they're working for things. 因为他们为东西而劳碌 They won't have time for their children. 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 They I want you to be rich in relationships. 我要你在关系上富足 I want you not to take that higher-paying job. 
，我不要你找到那份很高薪水的工作而已。If it means taking you away from your God and from your family， 如果那份赚大钱的工作把你从你的家庭、从你的神拿走 ，It's all about relationship。最重要的是关系。Yes, we must eat. 是我们需要吃饭呢、啊。Yes, we must have clothes. 是我们要穿衣服。Yes, we must have a house to live in. 是我们需要个房子来住。But the simplest of these things should make us content. 但最简单的吃衣衣食住行，我们就应该满足了。If we have relationships, 只要我们有关系 ，that begins with Christ. 这个关系是从基督开始的。Dear friends, this is so important. 亲爱的朋友，这太重要了。And as you grow older, you begin to see this. 当你长越来越老，你会发现这个很重要。It's like the old preacher says. 就像一个老传道人说的。There's only a few things that are eternal. 只有几件事情是永恒的。God, 神 ，His Word， 他的话 ，and the souls of men， 和人的灵魂。Invest your life in that which is eternal. 你要把你生命投资在那永恒的事上。Real life. 真正的生命 ，It is only through Christ。唯有借着基督 ，And it is only on the narrow way。唯有在这条窄路上、小路上。The、commandments of Christ。基督的吩咐 ，They are not the commandments of Christ are not something that are separated from His person。基督的吩咐和基督是不是分开的？ The Christian life is not just following a group of principles. 基督徒的生活不是遵守一些清规戒律而已。The Christian life is not just following rules or wisdom. 基督徒不是呃遵守一些原则、智慧的原则，做这个不做那个。The commandments of Christ are markers on the side of the road. 神的吩咐是在他道路上的指标。To keep us following Him. 叫我们都跟随他，指向他。Following a person. 跟随基督耶稣这位。Although doctrine is important， 虽然教义很重要，教规。My doctrine is the person of Christ， 但是我的教义就是基督耶稣。Although commands are important， 虽然吩咐命令很重要。They are not the end of things， 但是它不是，它本身不是它的目的。They direct us to Christ， 他们把我们引向基督。The Christian religion is about life， 基督教是有关生命的。And that life is found in a person. 那个生命是在基督里的。And to follow that person, 跟随那位 ，is to walk in a narrow way. 是，走在这条窄路上。A way marked out by His command. 借着他的话语所指点的。Now look what it says here. 我们看看这里说的是。In verse fourteen. 第十四节。And there are few that find it. 找到的人也少。Now what does this mean? 什么意思？ Jesus Christ, 耶稣基督 is saying something terrifying. 他说的很可怕的话哎。He says that most people are on the path to destruction, and only a few are on the path that leads to life. 大多数人正在迈向灭亡的路，只有几个人找到那条永生的小路。Now let me share with you what he's not saying. 让我告诉你，他讲的不是什么意思。When a lot of people read this passage, 很多人读这段经文呢。This is what they think. 他们以为 ，Well, when you look at the whole world, 当你看到这个整个世界 ，you see that only a small percentage of that world are people who profess Jesus Christ. 你看到只有少部分的人自称是基督徒。So because of that, we see this passage is true. 因此呢，我们认为这段经文是真的嘛，对不对？小门窄路。No, that's not what he's saying. 不，这不是他的意思。He's not saying that there is a small group of people who profess faith in Christ. 他不是说只有一小部分人自称是基督徒在世界上。And they are a small group compared to all the other people who don't. 啊，他是一个小部分的基督徒，比起其他宗教信仰的人。What he's saying is this. 他所说的乃是。Within the group that calls themselves Christians, 在这一群自称是基督徒的人当中 ，only few will find it. 只有少数人会找到那个窄门小路。That changes everything. 这个完全不同哎，意思。Now you may ask, what's my basis for saying that? 你可能问我，哎，你这样解经根据什么 ？The following warnings. 是根据下面的警戒。Let's just look at them quickly. 我们快快看下面的警戒啊。I'm submitting to you this. 我跟你说的是 
that Jesus is saying among those who call themselves my disciples. 那些自称是耶稣门徒的人。Only a few of them will find life. 其中只有少数的人会找到生命。The rest are deceived. 其他都上当受骗了。They're on the broad way. 他们都在宽路上。And they're headed to destruction. 他们都要沉沦灭亡。The reason why I say that is this. 我为什么说这个话呢 ？He then begins to teach about fruit. 然后他继续教导有关果子的问题。He says you will know them by their fruit. 他说凭他们的果子，你可以认出他们来。So what he's saying is this. 他所说的乃是。There are many people who will say they are Christians. 有很多人会自称是基督徒。But the fruit of their life will prove they are not. 但他们生命中所结的果子会证明他们并非如此。So he's saying, if you say you're a Christian, 所以他说，如果你说你是基督徒 ，but the fruit of a Christian is not in your life. 但是生命中没有基督徒的果子 ，you're on the broad way. 你其实是在宽路上。Then he goes on in verse 21. 然后二十一节他继续说 ，Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom. 凡称呼我主啊，主啊的人不能都进天国。He's saying there's a whole bunch of people who will call him Lord. 他说有很多人会称他为主啊。But they're not going to enter into the kingdom. 但他们不会进入神的国。Then he says that there are two groups. 然后他说有两种人。Both of them hear the word of the Lord. 两种人都听见神的道。But only one of them do the word of the Lord. 但其中只有一种遵行神的道。And by doing the word of the Lord. 遵行神的道。They prove that they have truly believed. They have passed through the small gate. They are on the narrow way. 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 They are on the This is a very, very serious thing. This is 生死攸关的问题啊。And you must listen to it. 必须好好听啊。Ask yourself the question. 你要扪心自问。Have I passed through the small gate? 我是不是真的进入窄门了呢 ？Well, ask yourself this question. 或者这么问。Do you walk on the narrow way? 你是否正在走在小路上？ Is your life governed by the commandments of Christ? 你的生命是否被神的话语所定义 ？When you disobey the commandments of Christ, does it bring you to repentance? 当你违背神的话语，你是否会悔改 ？Do you seek to know the commandments of Christ so that you might walk more carefully? 你是否遵行神的话语，寻求他的旨意，好叫你谨守遵行呢 ？Or do you commit the heresy found in the book of Judges? 或者你正在犯在《士师记》里头所犯的那个违背神的道的异端的罪。Where everyone did what was right in their own eyes. 个人照着自己的心意去行，偏行己路。It is a true statement. 这是真的。That there are more practical atheists than there are professing atheists. 那些行动上像无神论的，比宣称自己是无神论的人更多。Possibly very few of you would stand up and say, "I'm an atheist." 可能我们当中很少人会站起来说，我是无神论的。But you live as though you were an atheist. 但是你生活就像无神论者一样。You get up in the morning. 你早上起来。You go through the day. 你你每天就这么生活。You go to bed at night. 晚上睡觉。With almost no thought of Christ. 你从来没有想过基督。With almost no thought of the Word of Christ. 没有想过基督的道。It's practical atheism. You are a practical atheist. We must listen. We must listen. Now let's go on. Okay, we continue. In verse 15, 十五节 he says, "Beware of the false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves." You must 防备假先知，他们到你们这里来，外面披着羊皮，里面却是残暴的狼。You will know them by their fruits. Grapes are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor figs from thistles, are they? 凭他们的果子就可以认出他们来。荆棘上岂能栽葡萄呢？蒺藜里岂能栽无花果呢 ？In the specific and immediate context， 在这个上下前后文小环境当中 ，Christ is talking about false prophet. 基督讲的是假师傅、假先知。But there is a wider application that encompasses all of us. 但是有一个更大的。
呃，上下前后文跟我们人人都息息相关。It is the undeniable relationship， 就是那不可否认的关系 ，which exists between the internal and the external。这个关系在里面，在外面都有的一个关系。What a man is on the inside， 一个人里面怎么样 ，is proven by what he does on the。借着他外面的行动，就表明出来。This is extremely important in our culture. 在我们的文化当中，这是非常重要的。At least in the North American culture. 至少在美北美文化很重要。Where we have made a complete divorce between what we say we are and what we do. 我们把我们所自己宣称的跟我们所行的完全的分开来。You will often hear a person in the church say this. 你常常在教会里听到一个人说。Don't judge me. 不要论断我。Because you don't know what's in my heart. 因为你不知道我心里头怎么样。I don't have to know what's in your heart. 我不需要知道你里面怎么样。I just need to listen to what comes out of your mouth. 我只需要听你嘴巴说出的是什么。And watch the way you live. 看你的行动如何。For out of the mouth. 因为从嘴巴中。Comes the content of the heart. 他会说出他心中所充满的，就会嘴巴说出来。And the will of a man, 一个人的意志 the decisions he makes, 他所做的一些决定 demonstrates the nature of a man, 会显明他的本性 what he actually is on the inside, 他里面本质怎么样会显出来 Now this is extremely important. 这是非常重要的 He says, "Beware of the false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing." 你要防备假师傅，他们到你这来，外面披着羊皮。It is something external. This is 外面的 They have dressed themselves in a type of religion. 他们借着宗教披戴起来 Paul says they have a form of godliness, but they denied the very power that causes true godliness. 保罗说他们有敬虔的外貌，却否认了敬虔的实意 They dress themselves. 他们穿着着 They put on their mask. 他们戴一个假面具 And he says this will be very, very common. 他说这是非常普遍的事。They will look like sheep. 他们看起来像羊一样。But inside they are ravenous wolves. 里面却是残暴的狼。Then how can we know them? 我们怎么知道他们呢 ？I mean, if their disguise is that clever, how can we ever determine? 如果他们这么这么巧妙的化妆，我们怎么能够发现他们是真是假呢 ？From this passage. And Galatians chapter one. And Galatians chapter one. I can give you two ways to expose them. Can you give me two ways to expose them? In Galatians one, it is this. Galatians chapter one, verse one, is this. If they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, if they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, if they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, if they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, if they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, if they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, if they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, if they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, if they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, if they preach a gospel other than the biblical apostolic gospel, Even within evangelicalism, 甚至在福音派的圈子里 they've taken the glorious gospel of our blessed God. 他们把我们的荣耀的神的福音 reduced it down to a few principles. 把它贬低成为几个原则 If you agree to those principles, 如果你同意我所讲的几个原则 and you pray the prayer at the end of the track, 你跟着我在这个福音单章最后面，你跟着我祷告 they pronounce you saved. 他们就会宣布你得救啦 That's not the gospel. 这不是福音 Another way. 好，另外一个线索 You will know them by their fruits. 你借着他们的果子，凭他们的果子就可以认出他们来 I was a young pastor in Peru. 我在秘鲁是一个年轻的牧师。Probably only about twenty-seven years old when this happened. 这个大概我二十七岁的时候发生这件事儿。Yeah, twenty-seven. 是二七，想当年。And I was getting ready for church. It was about five minutes before church was to start. 呃，教会要开始五分钟之前呢。And these three men walked in. 三个人进到我教堂。They were much older than me. 他们比我老得多。They had very strong personalities. They were very strong, very strong, very strong people. And they walked in to take control. They came in to take control. I was a young man. I was a young man. And they said, "Who's the pastor?" I said, "Who's the pastor?" I said, "I am." I said, "I am." And they looked at me, despising me. They looked at me, despising me. They said, "We're prophets." I said, "We're prophets." And I said. Oh, that's wonderful. I said, "Oh, yeah, that's great, Prophet." They said, "They said we want to speak to the people." 
。我们要跟老百姓说话。I said that. What a blessing! That'll be great. 哎，太好了，这是莫大的祝福啊。They said, "When do you want us to come forward to speak?" 你你什么时候要我们上来演讲啊 ？I said in about six months. 我说六个月之后吧。They said, "What do you mean six months?" 什么意思啊？六个月之后 ？I say, "Well, if you're prophets." 我说，如果你是先知 ，You've obviously read Matthew seven. 你可能读过马太第七章了。And I can only know if you're a true prophet by your fruit. 我凭着你的果子可以认出你来。So when you live among me for about six months to a year. 所以如果你在我们当中生活。六个月到半年的话，一一年的话 and, ，and I c a 那我就可以凭你的果子可以认出你是不是真的。然后你可以在这儿讲到了。他们就很生气。They rebuked me。他们就责备我。And they walked out the same door they came in。他们从什么门进来就是从什么门出去。You will know them by the way they live。凭他们的果子，他们生活的方式，你可以认出他们来。Do you do you realize how many so-called prophets? Feed off of God's people. You know, there are how many so-called prophets are eating meat. They walk among God's people as though they were kings. They are the man of God. We 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 are the man of God. A man who preaches the gospel faithfully, 一个忠心传讲福音的人 has a right to be supported. 是，可以有权柄得到供养 He has a right to live with dignity. 他可以尊严的生活 To provide a home for his wife and children. 为他的家人，他的妻子预备一个家，没问题 To be able to educate his children. 然后让他儿女受教育 He does have needs. 是，他有需要。But to live in luxury. 但是活在奢侈奢华当中。He is not representing Christ. 他不是在代表基督。He is not representing Christ. 不是在代表基督。If we are men of God. 如果我们是属神的人。What do we care about money? 我们对金钱在乎吗 ？I had a man who was very very wealthy one time. 有一次，有一个很富有的人 ，and he came to me。他来到我面前。He said, "Brother Paul, sometimes you know I'm so ashamed." 毛路弟兄，你知道，有时候我觉得很，觉得不好意思。I'm very sad. 我很忧伤。I have so much money. 我有那么多的钱。And I look at men like you. 我看到像你这样的人。And I feel sad. 我觉得好悲伤哦。I said, "Yeah, I feel sad for you too." 我说我也为你觉得悲伤啊。He says, "What do you mean?" 我说你什么意思 ？All you got was money. 我说你所有的不过是钱而已。I open up God's word. 我把神的道打开。And I hear Him speak to me. 我听到神对我说话。I bow my knee and I sense His presence. 我跪下来，我就感到神的同在。I have a home in glory. 我有一个天家的荣耀的家乡 that will swallow this world. 这个荣耀家乡把整个世界都包含在内 You can tell that God really doesn't think a whole lot about money. 你可以知道神对金钱嗤之以鼻 Just look at who He gives it to. 看看他把钱给谁 It doesn't matter. 根本无所谓 It doesn't matter. 金钱算什么 ？A man once walked into a poor pastor's house. 有一个人有一次进到一个穷牧师的家里 ，and he saw all his children. 看到他的儿女 ，and he looked at the children. 他看这些儿女 ，and he said, "This is what makes a rich man poor." 这些孩子啊，使富人变穷人。Said no, sir. 牧师说不，不是如此。These are what make a poor man rich. 这是如何使穷人变富的 ？Relationship, 关系 ，the presence of God, 神的同在。So if a prophet demands profit, <笑>如果一个先知要求金钱利益 
He's not a profitable prophet, and you need to get away from him. He is not a profitable prophet, and you need to get away from him. He is not a profitable prophet, and you need to get away from him. I know I've said this over and over. I know I've said this over and over. It's all about relationships. 一切都是关乎关系，关系最重要。It's all about God wakes you up at one in the morning and wants to talk to you a bit through His Word. 也许神晚上一点钟凌晨把你叫醒，他要借着他道向你说话。It's all about the peace of God that passes all understanding. 最重要的是那那超过人所能够想象、所能够明白的那天上的出人意外的平安。It's all about waking up at two in the morning. 这就是两点钟凌晨起床。Just to watch your wife sleep. 看看你太太睡觉。It's all about a little baby. 这这关乎你的小 baby。It's all about a person whose life is ruined being suddenly transformed and changed. 关乎一个本来已经走投无路、已经破损的生命，如今重破镜重圆了。It's all about going somewhere and working so that starving children don't starve anymore. 这是关乎你到一个地方去为主做工，结果这些饥渴的得到满足了。All these other things are just rot. 其他不过是粪土。They're just rot. 一点价值都没有。A true prophet, 一个真正的先知 ，He has a Bible. 有一本圣经。And he has a towel. 他也有一个毛巾。By which he washes the feet of the saints. 他借着毛巾洗圣徒的脚。And he has a hoe by which he works his garden. 他有有一个耙子，他也工在神的园里工作。He has a shepherd's staff. 他有一个牧人的杖。He cares for the flock. 他关顾神的羊群。You'll know them by their fruit. 凭他们的果子，你可以认出他们来。You will know them by their fruit. 借着他们所结的果子。But in the same way, we will know whether or not we are Christians by our fruit. 但同时，借此也能够认出我们自己是否是真正的基督徒。And that's what we'll be talking about in the next session. 啊，下一堂课我们就要讲到。Are you a Christian? 你是个基督徒吗 ？Well, you will know by your fruit. 借着你所结的果子，你可以认出来。Let's pray. 我们祷告。Father, I pray that you would take this word. And use it in the life of your people. 父，求你借着你的话，在你的百姓心中动工。I pray that men might be born again. 愿人可以重生。For your glory and the glory of your son. 为着你的荣耀和你儿子的荣耀。